What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? KJ back with another video, another reaction. Today, guys, we are going to be reacting to If I Were a Rich Man Slash Girl. A uh, voice play featuring Ashley Diane. Deanne, I'm not really sure how you pronounce her last name, um, but at least we got the first name right. Uh, so, yeah, guys, um, a lot of y'all apparently liked the last reaction to voice play we did, which was the voice play minis. Uh, it was Mr. Sandman, Stranger Things theme song, and the how would you say it? the streaming platform uh theme song so uh you know got a good response from that and so yeah without really um further ado let's just get right on into this if i was a rich man na 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 all day long and bitty bitty bum if I was a wealthy man. Okay, so we're going to rewind that. We're going to restart it. Uh, but before we get further into the video, um, I have heard the song, but I have not watched the video. Um, because I've listened to it, but I wasn't able to watch it because I was busy doing something else. But I had my headphones in when listening to it. So that's kind of the whole reason, but... Amazing start by Jeff. I kind of love that he kind of took that beginning lead on the song. If I was a rich man, na 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 all day long and bitty bitty bum. If I was a okay, with now seeing the video, uh, most of the time Jeff's um, his baseline and him singing are very double tracked a lot of the time. Um, but it seems kind of like Ellie took over the bass line, kind of like he did in the Moana medley. Um, and it also sounds more like Ellie's bass from Moana. Because Jeff's, it's got this more, I want to say meaty feel to it. But this is kind of more smooth, uh, smoother, gentler bass. Kind of like Avi from Pin and Tonics. Um, and it's not really that meaty, just grunty force that Jeff gets into it. So I think it's Ellie, um, but I do only really feel like we hear this part kind of right now. And I don't really feel like we hear that much of it later on because I know when the rest of the Marcini and Jeff's doing the bass line, you can definitely tell there's a difference there. So was a wealthy man. Let's back up a little bit. If I was a rich man, na 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 all day long and bitty bitty bum. If I was a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Na 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 na. If I were a bitty bitty rich, idle 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 man. Well, I'd build. Ah, I love I love it when they have lame sync. Um, Lane's got this really. It's not a maybe professionally trained voice per se but it definitely adds kind of like that higher baritone range that yeah ellie gives but you know it's got i don't know there's something about his the way he pronounces words in his kind of like falsetto chest that adds something to the group it's hard to explain though Long and bitty bitty bum. If I was a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Na 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 na. If I were a bitty bitty rich, idle 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 man. Well, I'd build a big tall house with rooms by the dozen, right in the middle of the town. Fine tin roof with real wooden floors below. There would be one long staircase just going up and one. Whoa, okay, uh, it's kind of cute. So I'm just gonna go back a little on that. I were a bitty bitty rich, idle, 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 idle man. Well, I'd build a big tall house with rooms by the dozen right in the middle of the town. Fine tin roof with real wooden floors below. There would be one long staircase just going. Oh, 
I remember hearing this when I was listening to it, but that little that that whistle, I don't I I I really don't understand what it was, but it's kind of like Jeff was a really maybe I don't know if it was growl or it was just a very airy note, but it sounded really cool. Okay, before okay, we're gonna re listen to that. Um, okay, it's kind of a little weird shot of Jeff right there, but. That's one of the craziest, coolest things that I've heard kind of Jeff and Lane do. Um, and it, it blows my mind every time I hear it because Jeff's doing, uh, I think it's like he's doing F2 chest, C2 chest, F1 sub. So, do, 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 do. And I mean, and then I think it's Lane who's whistling, and then maybe I, I th are they snapping their fingers? Okay, so Lane's kind of whistling, or maybe at least whistling, or maybe one of the rest of them are whistling. But then Lane's kind of at that in there, but then they're also snapping their fingers. So I mean it's it still just blows my mind. If I was a rich man 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 na 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 all three of them ooh show us a good rich man na 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 So just kind of something to say about that is, um, I mean, we, we all know Jeff has one of the craziest ranges of just he, in, in human beings in general. I'm not going to say in voice play or in acapella or in just uh, music, but just in general, just one of the 
best incredible voices and ranges I've ever heard. Um, but you know, he, he he starts out with some high belting chest notes, um, and then he goes from like a G or an F two, I think, or something like that, up to a G four. So he goes up two octaves, um, and then goes maybe from like I think another C two to another maybe like a G or an A. And then, I don't know. And then maybe he drops it down to an F again. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but it's like, If I were a wealthy man. I, I don't know. Well, and then, well, he drops it, so. Man. Yeah. <laughs> The land of the lamb, you defeat, I should be the lamb. Would it spoil some residual plan? If I were wealthy, man. Okay, so let me see if we can see what it is on this app. So yeah, that that's an F one. So he drops it down to an F one right there. Um, it, but it's always nice when you kind of see, kind of like within the song when they kind of did that beat drop and that kind of that breakdown, um, or like in uh, the Twenty One Pilots mashups. All my friends are heathens. Take it slow. You know, kind of this set. He just drops it off a cliff. I mean, it's incredible. Oh, well, the- Oh, I, I love it. I love it. This is, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't think I would say this is maybe my favorite they've uploaded, but it's probably top five for me. Um, it's, it's really simple production wise. Um, you know, just plain simple white background and then them in their kind of, uh, in their outfits and then they switch the colors whenever the beat drops to kind of signify that uh, they kind of did break it down. And it's just not their simple just singing, which I really like. Um, Ashley, incredible voice. Uh, I mean, if we saw her in voice play in the future, whether it be her just in other songs or maybe even a member, who knows? Um, I think she would be really good touch because she has that kind of range of hers that's on the lower side that does compliment because it is a girl's voice on the lower side and a lot of the voice plays members uh four, three of them are baritones and the fourth one's a bass i mean so they all could seem bass technically if they wanted to um, and then to have a girl's voice that has a lower end um would probably compliment very well but then she does have a higher range if they need it. I know Ellie can go higher, um, but how comfortable he is going on a really, really higher time, the whole song compared to someone like Earl. um, I'm not so sure. I mean, we haven't really seen a song where, you know, maybe the whole time he's just held that high tenor part because they've always had um, either a feature that was able to cover that or they've had Earl who's been able to hold that high part because that's just his voice. Um, so it'd be really interesting to see if they do any more collabs with her or, you know, a new membership with her in the group. Um, and who says it has to be five for voice play? Um, what if they add her and then they may add another baritone or they may add a higher tenor? Um, because... I know back in the sing-off, they had Honey, who um, 
for me personally, I know a lot of people loved her, um, but I think she is definitely more of a single person star than she is with the group. I think her relationship with voice with voice plays good, and I hope it is. Um, but I do believe that if they have songs with her, it's collabs and not membership because she has that more of a single star spotlight quality than I think she is with the group because back then in the sing off, most of the songs were almost, I feel like trying to solo her and kind of more just show off her talents than the rest of the groups. While as, and maybe that's kind of one of the reasons they fell behind in the sing off was because you take some group like Pentatonix or Home Free they always kind of give maybe one certain person the spotlight, but in a different song or a different episode. And it wasn't just one person the whole time. Um, again, this is no hate on honey. I just believe that she maybe is a solo star quality and maybe voice play wasn't the best fit for her. Um, but voice play still though, overall is a tremendous group. And I believe that, if you maybe took all the greats from the sing off, or maybe even just the groups who are still um, around, uh, which would be really hard to find because I know a lot of them who maybe didn't win or get the first, you know, that kind of get that head start after the sing off um, are still around. I mean, obviously, Pentatonics, Home Free, and Voice Fire are the three big ones. Um, maybe you add Voctave to it. Um, but then Voctave at the same time is not necessarily a cappella because they're more just an operatic choir instead of maybe an a cappella group. Yes, they sing a cappella, but I feel like maybe they're more orchestral in the way they sing their songs, which doesn't really fit with the rest of them because all the rest of the groups have that modern day kind of vibe to all their songs. Um, but I do believe voice play nowadays could definitely give any other group of run for its money. Um, I believe voice play is that good. Um, and I believe that whatever they have in store in the future um, will be really, really great. Uh, so yeah, I know this was kind of a longer outro and a longer video, um, maybe because of the outro, uh, but I kind of want to give my thoughts on Ashley and kind of why maybe she would be better for the group versus somebody like honey. Um, so yeah, uh, like always, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, um, comment down below. And if you're feeling very generous and very gracious towards me, make sure to hit that sub button. Be really appreciated. It goes a long way. We're trying to hit the thousand, um, which is was has been my ultimate goal since the beginning. I obviously if we go above and beyond that. That's all thanks to you guys and anything that I make in YouTube um, will go back into the uh, channel. I'm, I'm, I'm don't really think until I get maybe if I do grow big enough that most of the time, anything that I get out of YouTube is going to go back into YouTube. Uh, so yeah, uh, like I said, make sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys like the video, make sure to check out some more. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and chicken grease guys. See ya.